In this video, I'm going to show you how to answer questions about place value using whole numbers. In the first example, you're given two numbers, number A and number B. Start by placing the two numbers into the place value chart. Record number A in the first row of the place value chart and record number B in the second row of the place value chart. The first question asks, what is the value of the six in number A? Going back to the six in number A, the six is located in the hundreds place of the place value chart. You can underline this if you want to. So the six in the hundreds place is worth 600. The second question asks, what is the value of the six in number B? In number B, the six is located in the tens place. Six tens is worth 60. Now we're going to use these same two numbers to answer the next two questions. The first question asks you to use the numbers from the previous slide and write a comparative statement to explain how the value of the six in number A compares to the six in number B. Going back to the previous slide, we can look at their values. The six in number A is in the hundreds place, which is one place to the left of the six in number B. Because it's one place to the left, it is greater than the six in number B, and because it is one place value, it is one power of 10 greater. So the six in number A is 10 times greater than the six in number B. And now for question number three, we're going to write a comparative statement to compare the six in number B to the six in number A. Again, we can refer back to the place value chart on the previous slide. The six in number B is one place value to the right of the six in number A, which means that it is worth less than the six in number A. And because it's one place value away, it's worth 10 times less, which we also can refer to as being one tenth of the value of the six in number A. So the six in number B is one tenth the value of the six in number A. In the next example, we're going to compare a new set of numbers. Start by recording number A into the first row of the place value chart, which is 12,093, and then record number B into the place value chart, which is 9,645. The nine in number A is located in the tens place, so the value of the nine in number A is 90. The nine in number B is in the thousands place, so the value of the nine in number B is 9,000. Now we're going to use these same numbers to answer the two questions on the next slide. The first question asks us to write a comparative statement to explain how the value of the nine in number A compares to the nine in number B. Looking at the place value chart on the previous slide, we can see that the nine in number A is in the tens place. This is two place values to the right of the nine in number B. Because it's two place values to the right, it is worth less than the nine in number B. And because it's two place values, it is two powers of 10 less, or one one hundredth the value. So the nine in number A is one one hundredth the value of the nine in number B. Next, we'll write a comparative statement to explain how the value of the nine in number B compares to the nine in number A. Going back to the previous slide again, we can see that the nine in number B is two place values to the left of the nine in number A, which means that the nine in number B is two place values greater. This means it's 100 times greater. So the nine in number B is 100 times greater than the nine in number A. 